Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Liz. I recently graduated college, which is absolutely insane because what do you mean I'm a real life adult in the real life world? I kind of hate that for me, but I love that for you because that means I have some knowledge and wisdom that I can share with you on how you can make the most of your college experience. More specifically, I'm gonna be talking about the things that I used long term in college. So I'm talking about the items that like stayed consistent throughout my four years and things that I invested in that I actually used. By no means am I saying that you need any of these things to be successful. Everybody's different, I'm just sharing what worked for me. So this is more so a video that you can take inspiration and ideas from. Anything tech related, clothing related, accessories, stuff like that, I'm just gonna give you the overall rundown. I won't really be talking about dorm or apartment essentials because I feel like that's something that like changes throughout the years. But if you want me to make a separate video on that, I totally could, just let me know. Anyways, let's get into the ultimate guide of college essentials and staples that you can invest in and use throughout your four years of college. Okay, the first category we're gonna be talking about is tech because this is one of my favorite things to talk about when it comes to college essentials and you guys always ask what you should or shouldn't get so here's a rundown of things that I personally used and also a few things that I used later on in my college career that I wish I had sooner so take some notes all right right off the bat the first thing on my list if you are a student who has any kind of Apple product whether it's a MacBook an iPad an iPhone you need to get an Apple care plan especially if you're someone like me who is a little bit clumsy and a little bit careless sometimes. You can go and watch my videos and see some experiences that I've had. One time I spilled apple cider all over my laptop and it completely shut down like in the middle of the semester. I had to go and take it to get it repaired. And I was literally shaking in my boots because I didn't know if I had an Apple Care plan on it. If I didn't, I was gonna have to pay a thousand dollars to get a new one. Thankfully, my dad did get it for me whenever he bought this for me for Christmas. So I only had to pay $300 instead of a thousand. A lot of people say it's not worth it. For me, it was definitely worth it. Okay. The next thing on my list you guys always ask should i get an ipad or a macbook really what it comes down to is your major and what kind of softwares you're going to be using what kind of work you're going to be doing and how you prefer to do your work whether it's a macbook an ipad a surface pro whatever it is do your research on what kinds of softwares you support and what kind of software you're going to need i had a friend freshman year who got an ipad right off the bat she didn't get a laptop or anything else and for one of our coding classes she had to download a software that wasn't compatible with the ipad so then she had to go out of her way to go to the libraries to use the laptops there to get her work done but yeah those are just some things to think about. I personally used a MacBook. This worked for me in my major, but whatever laptop you do end up getting, I recommend getting a case or a sleeve and also like a keyboard cover. Some people say that keyboard covers damage your laptop. I don't know if that's true, but for me personally, I'm gonna keep it on. The next thing is an iPad. I use this to take digital notes in college and it was a lifesaver. I had the iPad Pro 11 inch. I'm pretty sure it was the first gen. I don't know. It's like the oldest version you can get, but it got the job done for me. I use this for digital note taking, planning, reading. If you do get an iPad, I definitely recommend recommend getting a paper-like screen protector. I got mine on Amazon. And then obviously the Apple Pencil. But if you want a cheaper option, I recommend the Logitech Crayon. I also had these Apple Pencil grips on mine that really helped for writing, especially when I was like writing a lot, like my hands would hurt sometimes and this would help a lot. Okay, this next thing on my list, I am very passionate about because I wouldn't have been who I was if it weren't for this. But basically you need to get a good pair of headphones. My all time favorites, top of the line, best of the best for me were the Apple AirPods Max or the Sony X and fours these headphones are so amazing not only is the noise canceling good so it's like really good for if you have roommates or when you're studying and stuff like that but they're also super comfortable i can wear them with my piercings and i can wear them for a long time i have a fat head and i hate when headphones like hurt my head so these ones are really good worth the money i really want to try out some more affordable options so if you have any recommendations leave them down below if you don't want to splurge too much then i recommend just getting airpods like i had airpods and i use them all the time as well they're small and portable you can take them anywhere i will say though i would constantly lose my airpods so if you're like me again um get an air tag and don't lose your airpods okay i think that's pretty much it for tech so we're gonna move on to accessories we're gonna start off strong with what kind of backpack you should get i personally use this north face jester backpack it fit everything i need it has padded sleeves a laptop sleeve it's literally perfect for me not to mention she's really cute like they have such cute patterns and colors and i didn't feel like using my backpack and i was just more like on the go just going to like office hours or something a little bit more chill or if i just didn't have much to carry i would get a tote bag my favorite tote bags are the ikea tote bag that converts into like a little backpack the notion tote bag it's from their merch it's literally so cute and so good like the quality is really good it's a bagu brand i don't know if they sell it on their website i'm pretty sure they do but the notion one is so good the other tote 
bag I used was from Lonely Ghost Co. I have this tote bag that says I love you, say it back, and then in the back it has like different ways to say I love you. It was super cute. I wore this tote bag all the time. Next up is a water bottle. If I could go back and buy one water bottle, it would be this one. It's the Owala water bottle. Not only does it come in different colorways, but it also has a little handle, and then also there's a two-way straw. It has a straw that you can sip on like when it's like standing up, and then there's also a chug section of the straw where you can like you know, chug. I have the like bright yellow one from the Harry Potter collection and then I have this other like pastel one that I got at Target. Love her. If you drink three of these a day, your life will change. Trust me. Okay, next up is a pop wallet. Here's the thing. Freshman year, they'll give you like a lanyard and you can put your keys and your ID and like everything that you need on there. Yes, everyone will know you're a freshman if you have a lanyard and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Wear a lanyard if you want. It works for some people. I remember freshman year, I like had my lanyard. I was like on the bus, like a little scared freshman and some upperclassmen was like, oh, are you a freshman? Like I can kind of tell. And some people get like a whole wristlet with like their keys and their AirPods and like their entire life on a wristlet. But for me, if I lose that wristlet, like I'm screwed. And so what I recommend doing was I got a pop wallet. So basically it's a wallet that you put on the back of your phone. It has the pop socket. You can fit up to three cards, I'm pretty sure. So I would keep my student ID, my credit card, and my like driver's license. I would keep it on the back of my phone. And then my keys, I would always forget my keys before leaving. Am I just an irresponsible person? Like, I really hope I'm not the only one. Hopefully someone can relate to this. My key, I would literally strap it to like one of my bracelets and I would just like have it like on there, which is insane of me, but like it worked. Okay, I never forgot my key. Okay, the next accessory that I recommend keeping in your backpack or your tote bag is an umbrella. There is probably nothing more humbling than and walking to class and it starts pouring and you show up completely soaked again nothing wrong with that but like i'm just trying to save you some grace you know what i mean i also add this reverse folding one which is nice because if there's like strong winds and stuff it'll just fold right in instead of having to like you know mess with it and all that stuff some people are like you won't catch me ever using an umbrella that's so embarrassing don't care one time i forgot my umbrella and my tote bag got soaked and my laptop got water damaged like okay the next thing is blue light glasses don't ask me if these actually help or not but there's something about wearing them that give me some sort of like placebo effect where i just like get into working mode the blue light glasses are on we're working not to mention they're super cute i have these ones from i buy direct and like look at these frames they're adorable it's more of a personal preference but if you're looking for a cute pair these ones from i buy direct they got like the most basic kind you can get because they're a little bit pricey but I've had them forever. All right, for our next category, we're gonna be talking about websites and software that I use consistently throughout my four years. Also some subscriptions that I recommend. This website revolutionized the way that I study, not even being dramatic. It's called LifeAt. So basically they have a bunch of workspaces that you can choose from. So it'll give you like a whole scenery backdrop and it'll add like sound effects. You can add lo-fi music playlist to do list there's even a pomodoro timer which if you don't know what that is it's a study technique where you work and take breaks for a certain amount of time when i'm at the library lifeat.io is on i think they have a desktop app now but i always just use it on my browser the next app is notion i love notion so much i know that some of you are intimidated by it but trust me when you get the hang of it it'll change your life i did 10 times better in classes on the semesters where i did use notion like she really kept me organized i have a template i'll leave it down below as well but basically you can use it for note taking plan planning so much. Again, if you want a more in-depth video, I can give you a little notion tour and tell you how to set up your own. My favorite thing to do on this was to make like a master list of all of my assignments. And then I would put the due date and have it remind me and like get the app on my phone or my laptop. I'd have it everywhere. So I was just like, always on it you know what i mean they also have an ai feature which i really like to use on there one time i was making a study guide and then i would just highlight something and then ask ai to explain it or to simplify it love it next up is grammarly but hear me out they have a new ai feature as well so like you can use it when you're like writing emails you can ask it to write the email for you it's so good like why did i not have this when i was a freshman like not fair okay the next thing is a subscription-based service and it is chegg you've probably heard of it especially for studying like when i couldn't go to office hours like chegg I'm telling you, it pulls through and it's definitely worth it. Don't use it to cheat. Trust me when I tell you, one time we were taking an exam and some people were caught using Chegg and they like literally hunted them down and then had people retake the test. Like, I don't know. So don't use it to cheat, but you can use it to help you study and get your homework done. Okay, next up is an Amazon Prime student membership. Most of the things I got from my dorm, like freshman year, and sophomore year, were all from Amazon. Like it's totally worth it and there's other perks that come with it like you can get linkedin premium free for like a year and you can get grubhub plus for like a year like 
get the Amazon Prime Studio membership. It's so good. Okay, these next three are apps that I use on my iPad, specifically for note taking and for digital planning. The first one is Microsoft OneNote. This is the best free version, in my opinion, for digital note taking. You can sync it with your laptop. It's really good, gets the job done. Nothing fancy, nothing extra. Like it has everything you need to take digital notes. These next two I would use the most. That is Notability and GoodNotes. Notability and GoodNotes are probably the best of the best. GoodNotes is my personal favorite. It's more personalizable. Like you can get cute little notebooks and like change the folder colors now with GoodNotes 6. I I love these apps with my whole heart. Okay, this next one, Google Photos. I have a confession to make and that is that I had my phone broken twice because my phone storage was packed to the brim. Like it was packed to the brim to the point where the phone couldn't even run its operating system anymore. And that's because I had too many photos. That might just be a me problem, but if you're someone who likes to document every single thing in their life, then I recommend getting a Google Photos account. You can just upload your photos there every month and then delete them off your phone and they're backed up on there. Okay, the next thing we're talking about is clothing. So these are just some of my personal closet staples. Again, everyone has their own style, their own preferences. And in college, honestly, you can wear whatever you want. People do not care. You can show up to class in sweats and PJs. You can show up all dolled up and cute. Like it literally doesn't matter. It's at least at my school, nobody cared or judged people based on what they wore. Okay, this first one, the Brandy Melville zip ups. I don't know what they put in these, but they are perfect. I had the cream colored one and the black one. I would wear these all the time. My friends will borrow them sometimes. Like they're, the quality is really good. And I feel like they're a pretty good price point as well. They had just like the perfect fit. I could throw them on with any outfit, love them. Okay, next up is like a go-to jacket. For me, it was this Urban Outfitters denim one. I kid you not, I wore this when it was cold, I wore this when it was hot, I wore this like all the time, and it was just that jacket for me. It was perfectly oversized, it wasn't like too bulky, like it was just perfect. Okay, this next one is a go-to sweatsuit. This is something that you can wear when you wanna study, when you wanna lounge around your dorm or apartment, when you wanna go to class. It's just like that go-to, like you just know it's there, like you can rely on it. I had one from White Fox, so comfy, so cute. And then I also have this one from Nike, which I love it. Like it's a bit more pricey, but she's worth it. Great quality, you'll make the most out of it, trust me. Okay, next up are Crocs. Listen, I know that there are people who are like avid croc haters and I'm personally a croc lover. I had the yellow ones and I used them freshman year as shower shoes and then I use them as like lounging around. Maybe it's because I'm from Texas. Is it a Texas thing? I don't know. But on this side of the internet, we love Crocs. Okay, I had a cute little bee charm and a little like honey charm. I didn't wear them out or like to class or anything, but they did their thing when they needed to. Okay, next up, you're gonna want some comfortable shoes because you're gonna be walking a lot in college, okay? But you also wanna be kind of cute for me. That shoe was the Nike Blazer and also Converse. Never failed me, I wore these all the time. The Nike Blazers, I wore the heck out of them. Shoes aren't necessarily something that you can keep for four years, but like I had some Converse that I wore like for years and loved. The black platform Converse, perfect staple. And then I more recently got the red ones, also a perfect and fun staple for like a pop of color. Next up, you need a good pair of leggings. Here's the thing, the leggings that I used, I had since freshman year and they're the ones I got from Victoria's Secret Pink. I don't think anyone really shops there anymore. Like now we have Airy and Lululemon that are more popular. Yeah, I got mine from Pink and I like literally wore the heck out of them. You need to find a good pair of leggings because they're gonna come in handy. Next up, you need a good pair of jeans. My personal favorites are the Levi's baggy dad jeans. I think it's the Binde wash that the color is. And then also these like low rise ones from White Fox. So good, I wore them all the time. All right, now for the final section of this ultimate guide, we're talking about stationery. I actually lied to you earlier. I said tech was my favorite thing to talk about for college essentials, but it's actually stationery. Like I am a huge stationery girly. I did use an iPad for digital notes, but every now and then it was nice to just get a little pen and paper action. You know what I mean? The first thing, this Lit Hit Lab pencil case. It doesn't fit too little, not too much. Fit in my backpack perfectly, love her. I got her on Amazon. Next up, the Muji pins. My handwriting was that girl when I used Muji pins. I definitely recommend these. They have the thin ones and the thick ones. Like, get some Muji pins and you'll see how good your handwriting will look. Like, I swear, I don't know what magic is put in them, but these pins are amazing. Next up, the Mild Liner highlighters. I'm not gonna say that you need these, but you kind of need them because for me at least, they motivated me to study. They're good quality, they're dual ended. They have pastel colors, like, so good. Okay, this one, this next one is very specific, but the monograph mechanical pencil. Again, it's like the Muji version for pencils. My handwriting just transforms when I use this and like, it's just such a nice experience. Okay, next up, planners. I've tried my fair share of planners. These are my favorites. Freshman year, I had the Happy Planner. 
They're so fun. They have so many different kinds. There's a student one that works amazing. They have like really fun sticker books you can get that are specifically for students. And I used the heck out of those freshman year. Later on, I did Notion and like Google Calendar, which are obviously good supplements to like actual planners. But um, I think my sophomore and junior year, I used like a digital planner. It's from Maisie Lay's brand. I forget the name of it, but I'll put it like right here on the screen. My current favorite planner is the Perpetual Goal Setting Planner. It's from the brand Talking Out of Turn. I personally love that it's undated because I go through phases when it comes to what planning method that I use so I like that I'm able to use it whenever I want and just kind of like switch it up every now and then and then lastly these campus notebooks when I tell you the pages on these are like butter like when you write on it it's so smooth such a nice experience and they're really inexpensive I would get them on Amazon or like the bookstore on campus and if you want a good notebook these are it okay that wraps up today's video on my staples that I use throughout college I hope you found this helpful Again, if you want to see more detailed videos for any of these topics, it was kind of just like a brief rundown of everything. Or if you even want like in-depth reviews on specific items that I mentioned or have any questions at all, just leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!